let us together do a brief analysis of Adrian Mitchell's poem, Human Beings. Let's talk about Adrian Mitchell first. Now, he was born in 1932 and unfortunately died in 2008. He was a British poet, novelist, playwright and poetry editor. And uh, he started his career as a journalist and he wrote both about politics and music. His poems combine humor with satire. Okay, moving on to the poem Human Beings. We can start off with the mood. Now, there is a kind of celebration in the, this uh, poem. Uh, it feels a bit joyful and uh, at the same time almost like a redemption for Lursni. The title, well, the title gives us a subject matter of the poem, human beings. You know, human beings is what the poem is really about, being human, what it is being human. Language. We need to say something about repetition. The words human, hands, look at, not, nothing are all words that are repeated several times. Central words and these words emphasize the theme. We will come back to theme later on. Another word uh, I really wanted to, to stress was dance. Dance gives us associations to redemption, freedom, without prejudice. So dance is a very central word in this poem and it is the very last word as well. Moving on to structure. There are seven stanzas in this poem. Stanzas 1, 4, 6 and 7 confirm what we are. The poet says that we are human and goes on talking about what we are. Stanzas 2, 3 and 5, however, state what we are not. So there is an obvious contrast between those stanzas. Uh, and um, what we are not, the poet talks about religion and nationality. So the structure of the poem um, and the way the stanzas are made, uh, this encourages cultural tolerance. And again, this relates to the theme of the poem that I will come back to in a minute. Okay, imagery. What kind of imagery is in this poem? Well, one example of personification. A smart missile. The missile is given human characteristics and this is thus an example of personification. Rhyme and rhythm. Well, there is no clear rhyme and rhythm. Uh, the rhythm that is and the rhyme that it, there is is very playful. It's almost like dancing. And it's, it's almost like a pop song as well. And again, it stresses or emphasizes the theme. Playful, joyful. And moving on to the final point here, theme. Well, this poem definitely encourages cultural tolerance and the poet wants us to to know and to to uh, remember we need to encourage cultural tolerance we need to to remember that we are just human religion nationality it doesn't really matter <laughs> 